New dramatic body cam video of cops in Newark fatally shooting a suspect following a double murder. One of the victims just eight years old. In the video, you can see officers chasing Everett Rand. And at one point, it appears Rand opened fire first before officers returned fire. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson is in Newark with the latest on the investigation. Anthony? Well, Sade, the state attorney general's office releasing that videotape in an effort to be transparent when it comes to police shootings. The incident taking place back on May 3rd, suspect running down this sidewalk right behind me and around the corner. That's when he apparently became face to face with police officers. Inside? Who walked out? It was intense as cops chased down a man who had been involved in a double murder where one of the victims was an eight-year-old boy named Zamir Lopez. Uh, Elizabeth. The attorney general's office released the video showing the brief chase from just outside the house on Johnson Avenue, where the double murder took place, to the point around the corner where there was an exchange of gunfire. <laughs> Officers Stephen Fiera and Ryan Castro fired several rounds. The suspect identified as Everett Rand was hit, but still conscious as cops handcuffed him and began providing medical care for his injuries. Are you hit? Anybody shot? He's not him. They were also concerned about one of the officers involved because they feared he might have been hit in the exchange of gunfire. They don't get shot at me though. The 29-year-old gunman died. The crime took place just before Mother's Day, and a large crowd turned out to pay their respects to the youngest victim. And speaking to the mother of Zamir Lopez, she claimed that Rand was intoxicated when he shot Lopez and another man identified as Willik Shaw. The shooter's encounter with police showed just how fast cops had to make a decision. Get him down! Down! Get him down! Get him down! Yeah, you could see the police officers were definitely in a very, very tough situation. They did find a gun in a dumpster. That gun also had a high-capacity magazine.